Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone, where in our previous episode, our adventures had gone into the, into the depths, had gone through a demon-stuffed devil city, which is one of the few of its kind that are in harmony, and then we're making the way to what they believe is where some Shardana, or maybe the captives of the Shardana, may be. Uh, so we left off in a cavern with a large lake in it, and in the very center of the lake was a small island with a, a bright red large rock like growing out of it. Uh, Lazarus tried to swim to that island, got to the island, but some Koto were on his tail, so then he quickly made his way back to escape death. I'm still trying to, like, put that in my mind process of why he did that. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't figure it out. All by himself. Oh, and there was also a skeleton of a dwarf on that island, too. Oh. Uh, that's where we left off. So what would you guys like to do? You're in this cavern with a lake, a kotor in the water. They're not bothering you because they're kind of scared of you. And there's... One passageway you came from, which is to the uh, east, and one passageway to the south. So, south it is, then? I think we should all swim across. <laughs> Why? Was there anything on the island? <laughs> there's a cool rock. <laughs> and there's more skeleton. <clears throat> Let me see if I can... I always... I can't never get the voice... Okay. Uh, no. Let's uh, let's not all swim across the water to the cool rock, because there's no <laughs> point, and there's demon fish in there. But they're scared of all of us, so if we all go together, we have a good chance. I don't want to go swimming. <laughs> well, they also have the advantage in the water. And spear. So. <laughs> spear. <laughs> Spears. <laughs> There's also like a walkway all the way around the lake. Oh, well, why, didn't, why didn't Zach ever take no, the like a quick? It doesn't uh. go onto the island, but oh. it's just like all around the... Oh, I thought you meant yeah. like no. on the other side, there's a walkway no. reaching there, and I was like, wow. <laughs> okay. So that's one other thing you could explore if you so wanted to. <laughs> why <does> that... <laughs> Not that I have anything planned or anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bla- Blaze will be like, oh, let's just keep going. This water creeps me out. <laughs> Especially evil underdog... Depth water. All right. Well, you're a little bitch, but <laughs> I, I, I suppose. Wow. I when did Ryan become such an asshole? <laughs> anyway, yep. Blaze is kind kind of the asshole, you know. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> that's true. He's also role playing in his character voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, is this your role playing voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. what would everyone like to do? Let's all raise our hands if we want to go south, and I'll raise my paw. Oh. <laughs> I'll raise my hand as well. Are we really just raising our hands? We can just talk this through. But yeah, this is how we're talking, though. <laughs> you know, the Greeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> they um, do democracy, raising their hands. To make decisions. <laughs> Democracy sounds stupid. I don't want to go to the island. What's the Greek? <laughs> People. Very things. Uh, I don't want to go to the island. <laughs> <laughs> but once he's talking sense, you guys, let's not go to the island. Yeah, we don't need to go. Oh, we're going to a consensus. I don't, there's let's nothing go there. Go All right, I was just wondering. I was just asking. No, let's let's right, not then. Let's south. go. <laughs> what? This is. I'm gonna go south. I'm just gonna start walking south. Okay. That's <laughs> why I'm going as well. Okay. I'll follow. I'll go stand here. All back. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who ran off towards a demon baby. <laughs> right? It's like, it was a child in trouble. And we saved him. Every time something seems daunting or dangerous, Ryan's like, we should go that way. <laughs> He's probably thinking, like, oh, what if there's a kid in that crystal? You know? There's a kid in that rock. No, I've got to right. save his life. <laughs> That's like a distinct possibility. <laughs> Let's go check out that crystal. Maybe there's a kid inside. <laughs> <it. laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I, I like, did see him to see a small figure in the rock. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> We have to go. Why did I open my thing back? I start walking around the lake, around the pathway. I'll see if I can find a. a hey, short listen, you guys. Let's not follow him this time. Last time we almost killed a kid, and I'm not down for that. 
Okay, so you're the only one walking around. I feel like we need our healers. Nobody's going with me. That's cool. I want to go south. I'll strike out on my own. Why? No, just follow us. He said there was a kid inside the crystal. No, no one said that. I don't know if that's canon. Uh, No, that's not canon. Okay, then I don't do that. You were ready to hop all over that train, yeah. Uh, Yeah. It's called role playing. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, nerdy. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> that was the joke, Duncan. <laughs> All right, back on focus. Okay, so is everyone just heading south? Yeah, we'll go south. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you pass through this next passageway, and it seems the ceiling seems to, be, seems to be getting lower and lower until it's about, like, six feet high, so some of you may have to stoop a little bit while you're walking. Oh, Ryan, you're perfectly I'm fine. You've got, like, your hands up in the air, <laughs> waving them, you're super happy that you don't like, have just to just don't care. <laughs> I, I am three inches too tall for this space. <laughs> uh, and... <laughs> what? Nothing, it's fine. There's a joke in there. Oh. Uh, everyone roll a perception check, please. Perception. What if I don't? Well, then you don't that's fine. <laughs> Damn it, You're always allowed to not partake. <laughs> that is a nat two. Plus, I got a, plus four. That. No, plus two. I, I got uh, eighteen. Four. Eighteen as well. Dirty twenty. Okay, so... Aelrindal, Blaze, and Dazzers. You hear muffled screams and like the sound, the muffled sound of like a battle going on far t- through this passageway. And as well, when all, the rest of you like look forward and continue on in this passageway, there's also two uh, branches off this passage to the left side as you're walking. So, do we hear the voices coming off from like the branches or like straight no, on ahead? From straight straight ahead. So it's three paths. <clears throat> Yeah, there are three paths, yep. Why have we stopped? Uh, there's, uh, daunting screams up ahead, <laughs> as usual. Uh, we can go left, though. Uh, let's go left. I'm gonna start walking left. The voices okay, sound uh, the first pretty welcoming. Right left, there are two. So there's one, like, right here, then mm-hmm. you continue oh, more, and then there's another right here. Um, I will take a listen to see if I hear any screams coming from these uh, or any noises coming from those branches. This is the D&D campaign where we avoid Roll all plot points. Hmm? Okay. Roll Oh, sorry. No, Wait, what were you sorry. saying? I was talking over you, that's my bad. <laughs> what were you saying, though? This is a D&D campaign where we just avoid every plot point. Ever. We're avoiding dying, Duncan. I'm playing my character. We're level so four. We know we're, <laughs> we're level five. No, we're not. No, we're not. you're level four. Um, Why am I so confused about is, my level? That's a nat 10 plus two, so that's 12. <laughs> 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 Uh, let me just check up by now. What surprise. <laughs> hey, we have like 15 subscribers. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's yes. my 15 now. Uh... But like, nine of us are just us and our friends. Let's just cash out now. I told my parents, but my dad said he wouldn't subscribe. <laughs> Does he even know what that is? I, I was like, here, dad, we'll just make you count. You can subscribe. Yeah. And he was like, I don't want to do that. And I was like, well, that hurts your son's feelings. But that's fine. <laughs> I tried to get my brother to subscribe, and he doesn't even use YouTube that much. Because I was like, it'll just go to a subscriber count. And he's like, no, it'll fuck up my suggestions. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. We, we <laughs> didn't. He doesn't even use it. Uh, anyway, so, anyway. uh, Sebastian, <laughs> you hear the, you hear a couple of footsteps just really, really faintly coming from this passageway. They seem to be kind of light footsteps. I think something is lurking down this branch. I um, hear a very, very light faint. Could be a, a drow. They're pretty, they're like elves, you know, light on their feet. Are they dangerous? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about the, we were uh, just in a city full of them, and the one guy was like, yo, you guys are going to get killed by these drows. So That's right. You make a good point. Okay. Um, so either path turns out to be quite hazardous. Uh, do I hear anything from the other branch? Uh, as you move on, you, you hear kind of like an infernal speech coming from this direction. I speak that. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I have to figure out what they were saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I already know. Which I, I have, prepared. of course, is just in my notes. I'm I just wrote it down in French, so I just gotta translate it that first. Because <laughs> French is infernal. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> Sorry to our no French viewers. <laughs> <laughs> just sweet. 
What? <laughs> Je suis le démon. <laughs> okay, yeah. Bond. So is this speech like uh, booming? Like uh, no, it's like faintly a, as if like some somewhat far away. Okay. Uh, they seem to be talking about their wives. <laughs> it's a seminar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a divorce counseling. And it's two different voices you hear. All right. Um, I want to go there. <laughs> well, down this other branch, I hear a couple of things speaking about their wives. <laughs> Just listen for like a minute and relay what they're saying back to her. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> listen in. <laughs> so you hear, then Marjorie was like, why are you even here? You should just leave. And then the other one's like, Dude, you don't just leave. You should have stayed there. And then the yeah, other's like, that, that's what I was thinking. But Marjorie just told me to leave and she was pissed off. So I was just going to leave. Then the other one says, dude, maybe you should have just left. Did he leave? Then the other one's like, I waited like five minutes, dude. And then I left. And the other one's like, dude, I think that that might have been that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I've heard enough. Yet. You sound like a couple of like, real drow wives of the dead. Like, sounds like a divorce. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Can we give an inspiration point for DM? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so we cry. everyone. <laughs> Um, which path do you think we should go down? Marjorie sounds like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we should go talk to these uh, infernal speaking people. You want to go talk to the infernal? Anyone who speaks infernal is not friendly. <laughs> infernal people with marriage That's problems? <laughs> I feel like they have dance. enough problems on their own mind without us. <laughs> in, in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's going through a divorce. We should probably not interrupt. He's, I say we just go on straight. You want to go on straight to the screaming? Do we hear the screaming? Yes. Right now? Oh, uh, you probably would. Yeah. Okay. I think we should go towards the screaming. Uh, I agree. Uh, Honestly, we're in the depths, so I guess there's really no avoiding it. So. No. Oh, all right. I'll put my arm around Pharaoh, cool. and I'll be like, "Don't worry, man. You got me." <laughs> it's slightly comforting. Not totally. But slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're just heading, you're all heading towards the screaming? Yeah, yeah. we'll go so It's like way. pitch black dark down here, right? Yeah. Okay. I think all of you have dark vision. I have a room. Room. Yeah. Yeah. You have a dark vision rain too, even though you don't need it. Because yeah, yeah. you just want to run. I do as well. Yeah. If I get to like an extra vision. <laughs> <laughs> or just twice as good. <laughs> yeah. That was okay. a good one, Clayton. Good. Yeah. Good on you. Not really. Okay. Yeah, so as you uh, come closer, the screaming gets louder and louder. It's not, like, super loud that it's, like, heard in your ears or anything, but it is noticeable and becoming more so noticeable to you. Is it, like, one source, like, one person screaming, or is it multiple? Uh, multiple. And it, like, it, it's the sound of battle and okay. the screaming of dying and death and fighting. Uh, I'm just going to ready, like, a gust of tornado wind in my palm. Okay. If you're ready to cast. Sounds like somebody needs our help. <laughs> so, as you go through this passage, it opens up into a very large cavern, which uh, is about, let's see, 500 feet by 500 feet, almost a perfect circle. The roof is super high, like, after being in this cavern that's, or, I mean, after being in this passageway that's only 60 feet high, this is kind of weird to see a roof so high, like, probably at least 200 feet high. And then in the center of this room, you see a huge pit. It's probably about uh, 75 to 100 feet wide. It's almost perfectly circular. And you notice that the noises seem to be coming from down there. And when you look over, you can't even see the bottom. Um, well, who, wants, who wants to look down the scary pit? I'll look I'll down do the it. scary and then like, just like, just find like a rock or a pebble or something on the ground. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to take it and I'll cast light, like you can't trip on it, and just check it down and watch it fall. I'll watch too. I'm very intrigued by this <laughs> immense dark pit. I guess I'll also watch. <laughs> Are you guys going to watch too? No. I'm looking around the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay right where just I am. Just actively looking anywhere except at the pit. Yeah. <laughs> like tilling his, like Lazarus like looking away over his shoulder, like, I don't want to see <laughs> I'm not good enough. Uh, so as you drop this light rock down, 
you see it just drop and drop and drop and drop and drop, and soon you can't even see the light anymore. Wow. Uh, and you don't even hear it, Dan. I just imagine, like, very well. I just imagine someone, like, grabbing one of us and be like, save your life! <laughs> 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 like, shake him over the edge. Do it your eye, except he's so heavy that you can't pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, plummets. <laughs> <laughs> and then, from down below, I'm fine! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh my light pebble! <laughs> um, oh my bones are broken. <laughs> did, did you have you found anything in the hole? No, we didn't actually push him in there. No, I'm talking him because he took a light oh pebble. oh. I was like, yo, I didn't <laughs> actually looking put... at the light pebbles. So no, oh. of it. <laughs> if my math is correct, that means it's very very deep. <laughs> it's yeah. Maybe we should just math go around it. <laughs> is there any other like door? Yeah, as you explore this cavern, you notice there are two more passageways. One to the southeast and one to the southwest. Uh, is there any way across the pit? We should go south. Like, there, the pit isn't the very center of the room. Like, it doesn't span the entire room, so you can just walk around the pit. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. As I walk around the area, I'm just going to be staying, giving a wide berth in that pit. Uh, you guys don't want to go around? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going around. I'm just not going towards that thing in the middle. Well, that's a given. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, wh- which doorway do we want to go through? Seems we have options of south or the other one. I think he said east and west. You messed me up. <laughs> east and west. <laughs> um, Let's go east. That one sounds fun. Let's go west because he said east. <laughs> well, um, now you're just being difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go east. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I, I just want to go. I don't care. Well, hold on, hold on, Maul. Um, <laughs> you don't care. It's not that we're just blatantly choosing a different side. What do you mean? You blatantly chose a different side. Everyone, hold I'm on. Just Look, one. I don't... We are in a very dangerous place. Maybe it's best if we take this cautiously. Let's. Observe what might be down these paths. Have a listen or a gander. Can I look down the... Is anyone still at the pit? No. No. Yeah. (laughs) You are? Damn it. Maybe not now. (laughs) Yes. In the pit now. No, in the pit. No, I'm not in the pit. I'm just standing at the edge looking at it. While we decide. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm trying to hear what's going on in these... Sometimes when you stare in the void, the void stares back at you. (laughs) That was, that was scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm still standing, looking down as we're talking. Roll a perception check. I rolled a 17. You see something rising up from the pit. Time to go! Rising <laughs> up and dark as night itself. As it comes closer, you see it is a rock. Oh, dear Lord. Lord. Demon! Demon! <laughs> and then you hear its piercing cry. What, what's going on? What's happening? Listen, <laughs> we're going east. <laughs> Alright. It's a cute little bat. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe we can tame it. And do you guys now hear, the rest of you hear the piercing cry coming from it? I, I like run over to Please, the group. What's that sound? Oh, that's a rock, man. <laughs> Time to go. I'm it's looking at it It's like, uh, c- can I see the picture so I can describe yeah. it? Because it's. Just don't look at the stats. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, there's <laughs> all these stats, no. Um, have you ever seen a vulture? <laughs> Are there Probably, vultures? yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. Our vulture's cannon. <laughs> they got, like, it's like a weird, like, giant demon bat okay, vulture. I, I it's I got, got it. large feathery wings and, like, a long neck with, like, a creepy beak with a bunch of fangs. And, like, like it's got swan? two, like, three claws on two hands. And then it let's go over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, let's leave. While they're all... Well, he's describing. I was already running. Okay, um, broken it. But I just imagine that part being like um, he was describing it, and he's like, "It's right behind me, isn't it?" <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because the place would have like, as you asked, he would have like come to a stop, uh, stop, and he would have like grabbed his notebook. And he would have been like, uh, "Somewhere in here, somewhere in here." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like reading through, like finger scanning it, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> For some reason, I imagine as we're running towards like the one doorway, it just plays that like Lord of the Rings like battle music, where it's like, dun, 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 dun. you know, it's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Okay. <laughs> cool. What a, what a good way to contribute. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I just imagine that music playing. What did you imagine, Zach? Uh, <laughs> what's right. been your favorite right. part of the yeah. session? Let's keep this rolling. Okay, so Farron, you're running away from... Which way are you running? East. I just east? went the second I heard Demon. Okay. 
Uh, I, I'm gonna put my notebook away hastily, be like, <laughs> not the time, Blaze! And I'm gonna just, like, run up, rush off towards east as well. Okay. Seeing that everyone's going east, I'll go east too. Okay. I'll follow, but I'm not fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should kill this thing and chuck it back down the pit. It would be a nice trophy. Uh, <laughs> I'm ahead of you, kid. I don't think it's... I, um, honestly, guys, I don't think it'll be that easy. <laughs> What makes you say that? Did you look at the stairs? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was really tempted, though. I tried, but I looked at the other monster stats instead. <laughs> Is it gonna fit through that doorway? Uh, yeah, it probably will. Oh, uh... Right. It's a large fiend, so... A any way that we trap can it. avoid it, or is it kind of like a... Hey guys, the DM has unleashed a beast you need to No, you now. could totally avoid it. Uh, you're heading down the east way? Yeah. I went the closest way, which I think was the east one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. We threw a rock uh, at it. Yeah, like as soon as it got up uh, close enough, it saw Blaze looking down, and then it started flying more and is now chasing you guys. We should lay a trap. I think it's a bit late. We don't, yeah, we don't really have time to lay down <laughs> traps, man. I bet you should have catch up, like, in six seconds or something. <laughs> Uh, you guys have made it to this uh, next passageway to the southeast, and it seems like a straight passageway. So it is about seven that seven feet high ceiling this time. It's about uh, five feet wide. You think that the rock could probably get through, but it would be it wouldn't be able to fly above you guys or anything like that. Uh, and then as you keep running away. It, Keeps getting closer and closer and closer, especially to Ryan. Uh, do a, another perception check. That's a ten. I rolled a nine. Uh, it's a twelve. Uh, fourteen. <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, the two of you hear something else come out of the uh from the pit. It sounds like it has wings flapping or something of that type. In the room right now. No, from behind you. Okay. Uh, Man, there's really no winning. <laughs> and as you keep running and running through this faster, you come to a fork in the road. So there's one way to keep going straight, and then there's another way going to the right. Uh, well, why is this place full of so many decisions? <laughs> we don't really have time to stop. Which way do we go? The, I already right. heard another one coming. Left. <laughs> we're going right. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we're going. Where? Which way? I Where? cut right. <laughs> I just right. keep running. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I follow him. I pull right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, who was on running? Who was first in our pack? I, probably me, because I, I, I have like a well, 40 base me. walking speed, um, and I'm yeah, dashing, yeah. so like, I'm running like 80 feet a turn here. Are we we're dashing? Okay. We're running away, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we're running. Uh, what else would we do? Can I use the bonus <laughs> action? Do you even dash? faith on myself? Sure. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, then if you're going right in your head, I'll follow and I'll go right as well. Okay, uh, you go right and you follow this new passage rave. You almost feel this demon, beast, fiend, uh, on, right, right on your heels, Ryan. And the rest of you, as you're running through this passage rave, you run and it opens up into another small chamber. This one's about, uh, 60 feet by 60 feet, and at the very end, there's a decrepit-looking building. It almost seems like a cabin, almost. I feel uh, like we shouldn't... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, we, we use it as a choke point. We got two big demons following us. We go inside, there's only one entrance, they have to come into the one, and we can just gang up And, on like, them. the cabin is, like, right at the end of the cavern, so it's, like, against the wall. You have to run wall. 60 feet to get to that cabin. I can do that can easy. Do we can use the it. cave. <laughs> we can use the tunnel as a choke point. It's only yeah, like seven. The tunnel is a perfect choke point. It's got a bit of a wider door, but that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we're going in the cabin. No, we're using the <laughs> tunnel as a choke uh, point. Right. I I'm guess not fast. So as soon as we get into the cavern, I'm just gonna turn around and. Okay, hey, everyone, so, roll in their strip, please. Yeah. I did that. <laughs> I did that. I got a 19. I did as well. Fuck yeah. yeah. Same here. <laughs> what do you know, man? 19. T t yeah. That's hard for him to deal with. But I got 18. Uh, nice. Wait. Uh, oh, wait. I forgot to add my initiative plus. So actually, I got a 23. Okay. Well, 
I got I got a twenty one. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, I rolled nineteen. Well, that oh, ruined I all the fun, guys. <laughs> no, I did roll a nineteen. I have oh. plus zero. Okay. Well, I also rolled a nineteen, but we get, we still have that moment. Don't oh. worry, we have that moment together, guys. What'd you roll, Zay? A four. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Nineteen. Uh, twenty one. Eighteen. Twenty three. Oh, I fucked up where I was writing numbers. <laughs> Fuck me. What the... F- why the... F- oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Gotta love those little DM <laughs> breakdowns. You know, we can just put this in. In editing. What did you get? 23. What did you get, Zach? Four. 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 Okay. I'm just trying to pass the time. <laughs> okay, so first is Blaze. That's me. Okay, so first things first, I will take positioning at the mouth of the cave, obviously. Uh, but what do I see? I know there's the Varrock, but what's the second beast? Will I see it now? Or? Uh, roll a perception check. 13. <laughs> uh, you don't see it yet. But I know there's a second one, right? Uh, you heard something coming from behind it. Okay. Uh, I will pull out both my daggers in either hand. And okay. uh, I will, I guess I'll just dash forwards because I see the Brock coming straight for me, yeah. right? Yeah, so I'll dash forwards and I'm going to hit him with uh, my, my daggers. Because I can use both those at once, right? Yep. Yeah, so I'll slash with those. You just can't use a bonus action. Okay. Because no, like, the dagger is, the second dagger is a bonus action. Okay, no, that's perfect. I can't use my key then either, right? Would I not be able to use my key? Uh, if it's a bonus action, then no. Uh, uh, immediately after you take the attack action on turn, you can spend one key point. Uh, no. That's a racial uh, feat. Or class feat. Yeah. yeah, so I don't think it's a bonus action. Okay, so yeah, so I'm just going to slash with both my daggers. Uh, oh, no way! Two nat twenties? What? Uh, what? What? No way! Name drop. Yeah. Aha! <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Sorry guys, but it's time for me to leave the D and D group. <laughs> yeah, it's like a nat forty. Yeah, it's a nat forty. Okay, so what happens when I roll nat twenties again? Uh, you roll twice for damage. Twice, not yeah. full damage or anything. Double the dice. It's up to the, the DM. Time. Either he doubles it, you can just roll twice. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, you can do either, whichever one. Uh, okay, so one is one d four plus one, and one is one d four plus three. So, so uh, that is a four, and that is a five. So nine. Okay. And then double, so roll it again. Uh, that is a four, and that is a. Three, so seven plus nine. You don't add your uh, bonus, I mean your attack damage bonus to your second attack, because it's a bonus action. And, like, you only add it if you have the uh, dual welding. Two weapon fighting. Yeah, two weapon fighting. Oh, okay, so I still have my decks, though. Like, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or, to no, one of them. Just to the first attack. Oh, okay, so the first one I rolled was a three. Plus one. No, yeah, plus one because I could do it to the one, right? So four. So yeah. Actually, that's eight. Yeah, I messed this up real bad. Yeah. Uh, so that was eight. And the next one was a, a two. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll say that your first two rolls were one dagger attack. Yeah. So that is nine damage, right? Yeah. So your second roll, that is a three and a one, right? Yeah. So it's just the four damage for the second one. Okay, but I still have my decks to that, right? No. No, okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, straight. That's 13 damage. Okay, that's cool. And then, yeah, I'll spend a key point. But, uh, isn't that double two? Cause it's it's, it's only 1d4, so we rolled yeah. a 3 oh, and a 1. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay. Sorry for messing it up, I got confused. But it is plus the whatever you have just for the uh, daggers themselves. So if Yeah, that was your... the plus 3 and plus 1 I was doing. Oh, then yeah. you would add the... You would add your dexterity to the first attack then. Okay. Should I just re-roll the damage, or...? No, uh, just add your dexterity. Okay. What's your dexterity? Four. Four? Okay. Okay. 
And then, yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, two years, guys. I'll spend a, a key point. Has it to, been two I, I've years? never played a monk before. Uh, yeah, um, in the summer, I think it'll be two months. Yeah. Wow. I'll spend a key point. I'm going to use Flurry of Blows. So I take. I can spend a key point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Okay. Yeah. So I will do that. Two armed strikes with my Cat's Claw. So that's. I rolled a uh, 13. And a seven, uh, and a twenty, dirty twenty. Uh, twenty hits. A twenty hits. Okay, so that's D four plus my strength. Uh, three. Three. Okay. And then, how much movement would I have left? Because I I leap towards it, and what? How far? You probably have about twenty five feet left. I'll jump twenty five feet back. Okay. I'm not disengaging. I'm just. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next is Aelrindal. Heck yes. Uh, so the one is, I'm assuming right in front of us, because he, he was attacking yeah. it. And then we, uh, I heard the other one that was coming, right? But we can't see him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you could roll a perception check to see. I would absolutely love to. And also a question, um, because before I was a drow, and I think they can see double, I think it's like 120. Okay. Or something. But now I'm a revenant. Do I still see that double the distance I think it so. was? Or do, yeah. or do I? Okay. I don't know. Okay. I won't argue with that. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, that was a hard 13. <laughs> <laughs> hard 13. Um, uh, so just because you can see double distance, you can roll with advantage then. Oh. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, it, like, it was like in the crack. Okay. It's fine. I'll move that. That's a nat 20. Wow. Fucking wow. gnarly man. Name drop. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just mocking John with shitty humor at this point. Yeah. Call the police. <laughs> uh, the group. <laughs> We've been trying for two years. <laughs> you, you see a an Asimer pretty far behind it. That's horrifying. What? An Asimar? Well, That's they, a fallen angel. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. Uh, that but, is I don't know if Ryan knows, but... What language did they speak again? Celestial. Celestial, I think. Yeah, it's Damn. Celestial. Oh, right. I don't speak Celestial. I thought but they could be good or bad, right? I yeah. think we should not Usually. fight this. Uh, I'm not there. I'm not <laughs> what are you doing with your action? Aren't you? Uh, it's not my turn. I'm going to attack uh, <laughs> this guy right in front of me with my long sword. Um, and as I'm doing that... Um, since talking is a free action, I'm going to tell everyone that there is a, uh, what was it called? What is Asimer. it? Asimer. Asimer, uh, coming towards us. Or behind him. Oh, Say fuck! It. <laughs> Say it with your voice. Yeah. Roll play. 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 There's an Asimer coming towards us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! Uh, That's so, a big nope from me, guys. Kick his ass. Uh, Amar. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like a solid six. <laughs> yeah, you miss. I get a sweet Man, you your roles in this whole series have just been god awful, man. I feel yeah, for you. I Except when I like go to look for something in that toy when I go <laughs> yeah. to tag it's like a four. It balances out. <laughs> yeah, not really. Uh, okay. Next will be the Vrock. Wow. Not me. Uh, <laughs> it will attack Blaze, and then it will attack Aelendel. That's racist. Go for the Catman first. <laughs> what you get for talking? What's your AC? My AC is 17. Mrs. Uh, wait. That was 17. Oh, okay. Uh, so it misses, I guess. Ah, uh, it's in our favor. Aha! <laughs> Aha! Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mercy from the Gage! The one hitting you <laughs> got a nat 20. <laughs> Sick. That's what I get for getting a nat 20. Main <laughs> drop. <laughs> <Looking tipper cat. laughs> Fucking Come on, I haven't got to do it once. I wanted okay. to do the joke. <laughs> I haven't got to do it either. <laughs> Just wait for the next one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully this is why we only have 15 subscribers. You take 22 damage. <laughs> Us. Ooh, nice. that's a big. That's a big one. That's a those are. Those are uh, unfavorable joke numbers. numbers from its talons. Joke numbers. 22, dude. We can't win. My max HP is 32. 
And then next is Ryan. Uh, Ryan. I'm going to cast Blindness on the bra. Okay. Yeah, See, that's, that's a nice move. Uh, it it is. ACDC is 15. ACDC. <laughs> Thunderstruck! <laughs> uh, it got a 5, so it's Solid. Solid. a 6, so it fails. Nice. Woo! So it is blind. So blind. Or actually, that's... A magical attack, so he has advantage. Of course he does. And that's a 12, so he fails. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I can see the horror <laughs> of the face. Like, like, what do you mean, another spell fails? <laughs> 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 I was waiting for you to cast Hold Person, to be honest. I don't have to prepare Oh, okay. I'm never preparing it again. <laughs> <laughs> I delete that spell. Uh, so next will be Farron. <laughs> Alright, um, I will uh, kind of run in front of the group, so I'm not behind them at all. Uh, to where this beast is, and I'm gonna cast uh, gust of wind down the whole tunnel. Okay. Yeah. So the uh, so it's sixty feet long, ten feet wide, and each creature that starts its turn in the in the line must succeed on a strength saving throw. Okay. Or be pushed fifteen feet away. And uh, when they move closer, they have to spend two feet of movement for every one foot. Okay. What do they have to beat? Uh, strength of fourteen. Okay. Uh, the Varok succeeded with an eighteen. That's stupid. And the uh, Asimir uh, failed with a 10. I got one of them. <laughs> Good job, Baron! Thank you! Uh, next is the Asimir. He's pretty far back, so he can't actually melee attack any of you or anything. It's not like you so going to, right? it's gonna attack the Vrock with the longbow. Oh! Oh! I guess the wind. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> hey, and it missed. Because it was so far away and because of the wind. Is on our side. <laughs> <laughs> the angel monster is on our side. Uh, now For now. Uh, Lazarus. Yay, I finally get to go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, rock is like right in front of us. Yep. I'm just going to bring out my two... Uh, with its hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Looking really badass. <laughs> Sit here like this, like ha ha. I saw the picture, so it does. That does not look attractive. On my mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to pull out my long swords and slash it. Now I'm picturing it like the vultures from the jungle book. Like, <laughs> the arrow That's what <laughs> friends are for. Yeah, uh, you have advantage since mm. uh, since it's blind. Yes, I did something. Just ignore that seven. Yeah. What seven? <laughs> Not twenty. No, oh, no, no, that's on its side. Okay, okay. Uh, don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. On our side. <laughs> so that's a twelve Listen, and a twenty-three. I got my 23. four taken away that one time. The twenty-three hits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one d eight and three. Ten damage. Ten. Nice. Uh, it is back up to Blaze. Okay, so I saw it deal massive damage to Anarindo. Uh, so I'm gonna try and push it away no by spending. Uh, I have. Wait, that's less. <laughs> I have three, uh, two key points left, which means I can use Fist of Unbroken Air. So I'm gonna use Fist of Unbroken Air. And I'm gonna choose a creature within 30 feet. It has to make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 3d10 bludgeoning plus an extra 1d10 for each additional. Oh, I don't have any more key points, so never mind. Yeah, so it has to make a strength saving throw of 11. And this isn't a magic attack if it's key, right? Uh, I don't believe so, no. It's just like a, uh, I, it doesn't specify. I would assume technically it is because it's me manipulating elements, but. Okay, sure. It's succeeded with the 19. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, it takes half as much damage and it's not pushed away. But it'll still take, uh, 3d10 divided by 2. So it's my 10s. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So that is. Oh man, this is such a good roll too. 10, 8, 10, 19 divided by 2. So I'll say 10. Pretty sure. You're probably gonna die. <laughs> uh, and, but, uh, so I have no more key points, but I, I just have my bonus action left then. What can I do with my bonus action? You see, I could do that, yes. Could you actually? Well, yes, but, uh, I, w I don't want to run away. <laughs> I feel like I, there was something I could, I could probably make like a, is there nothing I can do? What can I do with the bonus action again? Anything that says a bonus action. Yeah, you could use a dagger. Well, any light weapon, I think. Okay, well, I'll do that then. I'll pull out my, uh... Oh, yeah, I'll slash at him with, uh, my, uh, my, my diamond knife. 
So that is 18 plus 6 is 24. Yeah, it hits. Okay, perfect. So mm, that's 1d4 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9. So 9 okay. more damage. Okay. Cool. And then uh, I ran 25 feet to get to him. So that means I have 40 minus 20 minus 20 minus 5. It's 15. So I'm just, I, crap. <laughs> I'll just run 15 feet away, I guess. Okay. Uh, next is Ailerdell. All right. Uh, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to attack this guy with my longsword again. Okay. You have advantage since it's fine. You'll just see, you'll see uh, uh, Blaze like rush past you and be like, go get him, big guy! <laughs> <laughs> Soften him up for you. Uh, that's a 24. You hit. Yes! <laughs> okay. Second time ever. <laughs> time to show this fool what's up. All Deals right. three damage. <laughs> 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 That'd be heart wrenching. <laughs> I'd be sad. That's ten. Yeah, that's max. Ten? Yeah. Ooh, I like you. Did you add your strength? Yeah, oh, is your strength right? Because you have your plus... Is oh, that that's, a, sword, yeah. that's 11 then. Okay. Yeah, yeah so just put plus three back by your... Uh, it's not really bothers me how you have your stats in the little bubble and the plus two in the big square. Uh, yeah, Tony, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Why you gotta do everything out. the wrong way, Tony? I don't you know, understand. I don't go off this sheet. I go off my hero book, but I I guess I forgot it, so like I'm just going off oh, of this. That's so disappointing because you were I so know. excited about your markers. I bought those. Ni- I bought some nice whiteboard markers for it, and I was so excited to use them. And then I forgot it, so I'm just going off of this character sheet that I have. Uh, the Vrock is gonna use spores, so everyone within. 15 feet uh, must do a constitution save and throw. Uh, oh. It's gotta make it strength. strength. I could only move 15 feet away. <laughs> That's a magical effect though, right? Uh, you yep. guys to win? Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, does that affect a strength save and throw? Mm-hmm. Got a 14. Uh, I, you have to be 14. <laughs> Push 15 feet away. <laughs> Oh, perfect! <laughs> but uh, for next time, I guess I should—I—I t- I, I forgot you cast that, so I probably would have been affected too. Oh. Well, running away, I mean, would have been against the wind. If you went anywhere in my blast, then yeah. Oh, I went right up to the guy. So. And then when he's moving against the wind, he moves only half his speed, right? Yeah, he has to expend two feet of movement for every one foot he moves. Okay, so he's going to move twenty feet then. Because he can move 40 feet at a time, and we'll use his spores attack. Uh, so who all would be in, like, the rate, like, close to him? So he was I pushed back 15 would. and then walked yeah. back 15. And what's 20? Radius? Oh, 20. Oh, well, then uh, I'm within range. Radius. Yeah. Foot radius. I only so ran... It's a cone. Radius cone. I think we're all... So I, yeah, I'd probably be in the last zone then. Because I, I ran 15 feet away, so I'm actually only 10 feet away now. Okay, uh, so everyone roll a constitution saving throw. Yes! You have to beat a 14. Dude, I have a plus zero. Come on, I, don't, I have to beat a 14? Yes! Yeah, I got Ow, my top! Okay. I, I rolled 15. a nine. Uh, 19. 19. Nine. Ow. <laughs> Are you okay over there, big guy? I, he just sla- I and slammed then... the chair on my toe. Ooh, yeah. After Ooh. I lost my dice, my dice is over somewhere. Oh. <laughs> it's somewhere by you, stupid. You are. Oh, it's my chair. Right <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is too much. It's fucking counts. <laughs> All right, there we go. You want to chill out over there? I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> That's a nap four plus two, so it's like not six. Okay, <laughs> hey, so Farron and Blaze are the only ones who failed, this so is not worth on it. the start of each of your turns, you'll take 1d10 poison damage. 1d10 poison? Fuck. See, Gage, like, that's actually a lot, though, so, like, can I not <gasps> take that? Why? You know what, just because you... No, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk back to the DM. I actually thought he was mad for a second. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> Ryan, you're next. Because it hit me, my gust of wind's gone. Oh, okay, concentration. So right. Okay. You're uh, you're yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, so I'm going to oh, smack him with my warhammer. Okay. And I'm going to so move this concentration right do a con save. Yeah. Uh... So that I don't know what you have to be. I don't know. And he'd still be blind, I think. So you have to. Oh my god, it's about a three. Damage. And that's uh, 12. Something. But you didn't Wait, take damage yet. 13 to hit. That misses. Shit. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to do? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, next is Farron. So, right. first off, 
D- uh, roll a d10. That's a... <laughs> Eight. So you'll take eight poison damage. Ooh, all right. And then um, you can have your turn. Well, I gotta make my con save now to see if my gust of wind stays up. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Gage. Uh, I went on D&D Beyond. Yeah. Uh, and my armor class is actually 16, not 17. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I must have wrote that down wrong. would have taken damage. Yeah. So we'll have to fix that. Oh, well. That's fine. DC equals 10, or half the damage you take, whichever number is higher. So DC is 10. Alright, so I gotta be 10. Mm. Ah, yeah! 19, nat 19 plus 2. <laughs> 21. So you're still a god guess of wind? It's still up okay. for now. But it only lasts one minute. Okay. Or uh, actually, no, I am 17 because I'm wearing leather armor. Okay. So right. what would you like to do with your, your turn then? Mm. Well, let's see, I still have it up. So, uh. Um. Uh, for everyone here, what's what, what? What exactly is the plan? Are we going to the cabin, or are we just fighting them here? Kill the monsters! Kill the monsters! Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Gust of Wind up. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe in my spell. <laughs> and that's your action. Uh, I'm gonna put extended spell on it, so it okay. lasts an extra minute. How do you okay. get seventeen? And, and if you want, you can roll you a. Constitution save and throw to see if you no, are not poisoned anymore. Ooh. It's 11 plus dex. Don't mind if I do, but I don't know what that is. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm still poisoned. Okay. <laughs> uh, next will be the Asmir. So I'm just going to uh, fire another yeah, arrow at it. Uh, it's a strength, strength, I think. Oh, yeah. Unless it's or 60 feet. We got a 19 plus 3, I think. So, no so he's going to go up, and then we'll... Uh, attack it with a greatsword. He hits. Uh, what's, what's the greatsword damage again? It's 2d6. Uh, he does 15 damage. And this rock is starting to look, uh, pretty badly injured. Uh, so next is Lazarus. I'm going to try and finish him off. Just slash at him with my two long swords. And he'd still be blind, so you have advantage. I'll take the 18. <laughs> Yeah. 15 and 23. Uh, both hit. Nice. The 15 is just barely... Gnarly. Oh, that's 11 and... 5 is 16. 16? Okay. He's still alive. Uh, next is Blaze again. Okay, and I take a d10 of poison, right? Yep. Of course it's 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I take 10 damage, so I'm like, okay. Uh, this irks Blaze, um, so, uh, it, the Asmar is attacking the Varrock, right? Yeah. So I'm not even gonna worry about the Asmar. I'm gonna run straight up to the Varrock, uh, and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna hit him with my two daggers again, because why not? It's been working for me. Uh, do I have advantage? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good, so, nat 20 and a 19. Are you serious? Nice. Yes, I'm having a very good day. All right. Indeed, uh, it is. So, the obsidian dagger is d4 plus one. So d4 <laughs> plus one is three. Plus my dex is seven damage. So that's for the 19, and then the nat 20. I'll roll double damage, right? So the address your uh, first, first attack, which first was the attack. 19, uh, five eight. So that is 15 damage altogether? 15 damage altogether, yes. No, really. You kill it. Oh. Yeah! How, how would you like to kill it? Uh, so since I use both daggers, I guess what I want to do is I'll like leap forwards after Lazarus like backs up from his attack, and I'll like kind of like angle my body and like stab the one dagger into his shoulder and then use that to leap up, and then I'll just like use the momentum to drop down and shove my dagger into the back of the thing's head and just like kind of like dig it in and like twist. Okay. And then I'll pull out and I'll be like, yeah, nice. Yeah, you're going to look extra cool too because my wind's blowing. So everything oh, and my fur's now. blowing in the wind. My cloak's yeah. flapping. Your cheeks are going to Yeah, no, so I'll just like drop it down and I'll like dig the blade in deep and then I'll yank it out and uh, I'll walk over its dead body back towards the group. Okay. And that is where we leave off on this episode of Nat 20. <laughs>